everyone today we are going to learn the parts of plants and their functions are you excited let's go plants are found all around us different kinds of plants come in different sizes shapes heights and colors what are the parts of the plants? Walk around a garden. What can you see? Choose a plant. Can you identify the parts of the plant? Where are the leaves, stem, and roots? Do you see any flowers, fruits, and seeds? What are their functions? These are the main parts of plants. We have the root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit, and seed. Let's know more about the roots. Look at the plant. Can you identify where its roots are? What are the functions of the roots? All plants have roots, and most roots grow underground. They hold the plants firmly to the ground. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. These are essential for a plant to grow well. Look at the leek plant and the lettuce plant. Can you tell the difference between the roots of these plants? Plants can have either a top root system or a fibrous root system. A plant's top root is the large main root that grows straight down into the soil. Other smaller roots grow from it. This type of root system is known as the top root system. Torian trees, rambutan trees, and balsam plants are examples of plants with a top root system. A fibrous root system is usually formed by thin, moderately branching roots growing from the stem. There is no main root. Some examples of plants with a fibrous root system include coconut trees, sugarcane plants, and corn plants. Some plants store food in their roots. We can eat the roots of some plants like carrots and beetroots. We should always remember that the roots hold the plants firmly to the ground. They absorb water and minerals from the soil. Plants can have either a top root system or a fibrous root system. Now, let's have the stem. The stem is a part of a plant. Look at the picture. Can you identify where the stem is? What are the functions of the stem? The stem holds a plant upright so that it receives enough sunlight to make food. The trunk and branches are parts of the stem. There are three types of stems. The vascular bundles, herbaceous stems, and woody stems. The stem of a plant contains many hollow tubes. Some of the tubes carry water and minerals from the roots. Others carry food from the leaves to other parts of the plant. These tubes are bundled up, forming vascular bundles. We can see clearly the vascular bundles in the stems of celery. Look at the stems of these plants. What type of stem do they have? 
Some plants have herbaceous stems, which are usually soft and bendable. For example, daisy plants, potato plants, lettuce, banana plants, body plants, and morning glory plants have herbaceous stems. Oak trees, rubber trees, pine trees, and mango trees have woody stems. These stems are hard and do not bend easily. Plants that have a taproot system usually have woody stems, whereas plants that have a fibrous root system usually have herbaceous stems. We should always remember that the stem holds a plant upright so that it receives enough sunlight to make food. Plants can have either a vascular bundles, herbaceous stems, or woody stems. Another important part of a plant is its leaves. Look at the picture. Can you identify where the leaves are? What are the functions of the leaves? How many types of leaves do plants have? The main function of the leaves is to make food that plants need to live and grow. Leaves have vascular bundles that carry water and minerals from the roots. Plants need to breathe in air. They get the carbon dioxide and oxygen from the air through the somata. The somata are pores mostly found on the underside of the leaves. Leaves come in many shapes and sizes. Leaves can be simple or compound. Now what is a simple leaf? A simple leaf consists of a single leaf blade. A hibiscus leaf and a mongo leaf are examples of simple leaves. How about the compound leaf? For a compound leaf, the leaf blade branches into smaller parts called leaflets. Clover and mimosa plants have this type of leaf. Some fern plants have compound leaves too. We should always remember that the leaves make food for the plant. Plants can have either a simple leaf or a compound leaf. Flowers are another important part of a plant. Look at the picture. Can you identify where the flowers are? What are the functions of the flowers? Most plants have flowers. The flowers do not only look pretty, but in fact are important for making seeds. They contain the reproductive parts of plants. The flowers will develop into fruits and seeds. Plants with flowers are known as flowering plants, and plants without flowers are known as non-flowering plants. Some plants have big, brightly colored, or fragrant flowers. Examples are lotus and rose. Some plants have small, green, or white flowers that go unnoticed. Examples are cogon grass and love grass. Now, let's know more. Do you know that the biggest flower in the world is the Rafflesia? Its flower can grow to 1 meter wide and weigh up to 10 kilograms. Rafflesia flowers give off a smell of rotting flesh. 
hands, its local name is corpse flower. We should always remember that the flowers contain the reproductive part of the plant. Plants with flowers are known as flowering plants, and plants without flowers are known as non-flowering plants. Most plants have fruits and seeds. Look at the picture. Can you identify where the fruits are? Where are the seeds? What are the functions of the fruits and seeds? Fruits are the parts of a plant that contain the seeds. The fruits protect the seeds. The seeds will grow into a new plant. We can eat the fruits of some plants. There are many tasty fruits. They are rich in vitamins and minerals. What are some of the local tasty fruits that you like? We should always remember that the main parts of a plant are the roots, stem, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. The different parts of plants have different functions. Do you understand? Great! Now, let's have our game time! Are you ready? Let's begin! Identify the parts of a plant that carry out the following functions. It anchors the plant firmly to the ground. Stem Root Leaves The correct answer is Root! Great! They make food for the plant. Stem Root Leaves The correct answer is Leaves! Perfect! It holds the plant upright to get enough sunlight. Stem, root, leaves. The correct answer is stem. Very good. It protects the seeds, flowers, fruits, leaves. The correct answer is fruits. Great job! It contains the reproductive parts of the plant. Flowers, fruits, leaves. The correct answer is I hope you had a great time learning. Please do not forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you on my next videos. Bye-bye.